All right, guys, this is my first reinvent. Who else first reinvent? Most of you? All right, great. Second reinvent? Second, third reinvent? First? All right. My name is Anthony Pago. I work in developer relations, and uh, I'm here to uh, introduce our speakers in just a few moments. So, is everyone ready to learn? Yeah? Okay. All right, everyone. So, uh, as mentioned before, uh, we're going to talk about generative AI. I have two of my great colleagues. Uh, Duty, which is a AWS security segment lead, and Shreya, which is a senior go-to-market specialist, and I'm going to kick it off to them. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, welcome. Welcome. We're excited to talk to you about security, which is the old kid, always there, always needed, and then Gen AI, the new kid in town. So I hope you guys are excited about how AWS plans to blend those two together. I'm very excited to be doing this talk with my colleague, Dudi. Yeah, thank you very much, right. Freya. So my name is Dudi Matot, and I'm the security segment lead. Let me take You should also pull up. Pull, pull your mic up. So I'm Dudi Matot, I'm the security segment lead. And as Freya mentioned, we're going to cover uh, Gen AI for security and how you can leverage your um, partners in AWS to increase innovation. So first I want to start with a quote from our Adam, from our CEO. Basically, and that's the main theme I want you to remember, where it's a, it's a journey. It's a journey, it's a race, it's not a, it's not a sprint, it's a 10K race, and we are just at the beginning. And as Adam said, we are just about to hit our stride. AI uh, most, most likely will happen mostly in the, in the cloud. So you want to have your data strategy attached to what you do. In most part, most of our customers are already hosting their data in the cloud, which therefore enables them to feed easily the data into the, the models and train them. Nobody wants to deal with the operational excellence and security that is required uh, to deal with um, AI and gen, and gen AI. And this is where AWS and partners come in, to, come in handy. So before we dive deep, let's start with what is, what is uh, Gen AI? So G Gen AI is a type of AI that is uh, powered by uh, an ML model. The ML model is pre-trained by a vast amount of data. We usually refer to the models as foundation models, or FMs. This, mod, this Gen AI allows us to create content, generate videos, clips, conversation. The reason that we're able to do such complex concept is because these models contains huge amount of parameters, which then enables it to do a complex uh, concept. So security should run alongside with generative AI. Gen AI comes with a, a huge promise to the enterprise, enable vast amount of use cases. But it also comes with some privacy and security concern. Since when you feed your data, the data may contain private data, PII, etc. So you need to think about your general data and AI strategy. And that comes with three considerations. The first one is securing the use of Gen AI, and I'll talk more about that and the use cases around that. The second is compliance. Compliance is, would, be, would be a huge issue, though still we don't have a global approach to govern use of AI. And there is a huge debate around the, the govern of AI uh, in the media those days. The last piece is resilience. So we need to monitor, and the enterprise are already doing that, monitoring the prompt that our customers, are, uh, that our uh, employees are submitting for a ChatGPT-like application. 
so these are the three main considerations when you build your strategy. But before we dive into how you deal with those concepts, it will file uh, repeating what I hope every one of you know is the shared responsibility model. Whenever you move workloads or data to the cloud, uh, there is this, this shared responsibility concept kicks in. AWS is responsible for everything off the cloud. So we take care for you of all the security of the infrastructure, compute, storage, network. So every time there is a need of a patch, we'll do it for you. But the moment you move your compute and workload and data, it is up to you customers manage that, encrypt the data, make, make sure there is at least privileged access. And this is where we, we bring in partners to help navigate through these challenges. So these partners can help you address these uh, shared responsibility challenges. So the same concept is also true for your Gen AI journey and, and race. So there are three main use cases that we're seeing, two off the cloud and one in the cloud. The security of the cloud, we're seeing two different use cases. One, securing generative AI. The, the fact that your data may contain sensitive information, you need to think how you protect this data and who has access to that. So that's the first and foremost use case. The second use case that we're seeing for the, of the cloud is how securing against Gen AI. And AWS offers services to deal with that, and I'll, I'll discuss in more details in a second. The last, uh, which is security in the cloud, is how we leveraging or developing Gen AI for security. And one of the uh, services that we, as an example, is the Code Companion, Code Whisperer, that Shreya will talk about in more details. So the same, again, the same concept of off the cloud and in the cloud. So let's dive deep into what, secure, what securing generative AI really means. So Gen AI is, is, a, is a, another form of, of AI which powered by ML, which pre-trained by the vast amount of data. This data may contain PII. It contains personal information, private information, uh, maybe or trade secret. So how you make sure this data is not used to train the model? and being sent outside to the public. So AWS introduced a couple of months ago a new service named AWS Bedrock. AWS Bedrock is a fully managed uh, service that takes care of all the privacy and security when you deal with or co uh, connect with the foundation models. We open up the foundation models through API that we ensure that none of your traffic traverse through the public internet and all the access to and through the API is secure. We also leverage AI with SageMaker Jumpstart in case you want to build or leverage open source models. The next use case is securing against Gen AI. So we already start seeing attack vectors or hackers leveraging Gen AI with spear phishing email, with social engineering. So how you protect against these attacks that we already start seeing and we'll probably see even more in the coming years. So AWS offers a couple of services. One of them would be AWS Macy. AWS Macy allows you to automatically discover and protect sensitive data. We also offer you a network, AWS Network Firewall, which allows you to define, uh, um, to define fine grain rules, which allows who has access to what, and control over your entire VPC. Here is an example of one of our partners that work with a customer to secure uh, their uh, SageMaker journey. 
So the customer was uh, is using SageMaker to build an um, GenAI application, and he will, uh, is leveraging Python and Wiz to govern secure uh, his, uh, his application. And in his own words, it allows him to speed up the development and, and the production of this application, leveraging both AI and the partner. The last use case for in the cloud is developing generative AI for security. So generative AI provides for security persona a lot of value. So instead of your security uh, persona, your SecOps, to spend time on the tactical day-to-day, -day, you can uh, offer the tool to take that away, this unnecessary work away from him, and focus on what matters for the, for the business. And, and we introduce a new service named AWS called Whisperer, which basically not just um, helps the developer, a co-pilot, once he develops, and speed up the development, but also help uh, through the productivity for scanning for, uh, for non-vulnerabilities. With me, I have Shreya, who will talk more about Code Whisperer. Thanks. Thanks, Judy. So, so you all heard about like, some of the steps that AWS takes when it comes from a security perspective. We focus a lot on security. And then, Gen AI is the new thing in town. Everybody wants Gen AI. The challenge is um, how to make it secure. So hopefully by now, you understand some of the security features, shared service model, security in the cloud, outside the cloud, how we do that. I would, I would change gears a little bit and really talk about um, Code Whisperer because this is AWS's Gen AI for developers. Now the interesting question is, why developers? Because traditionally there are a lot of tools that come out, but then this is something that is primarily aimed at helping our builders, developers be more productive. So we asked a few partners, right? Like, what do you think about this whole experience of having developers code, build applications, deliver to customers? And one of the constant things we hear, shortage of developers. We are always running short of developers. We have more to do in less time. And what that, what that leads to? What happens is, when, that, when you need to do more in less time, you try to then look for open source information available, some common coding practices that are shared between developers. You know, it's just inadvertently you copy paste codings. And what that, when that happens is you write a lot of code that is undifferentiated and you just do it fast and it leads to security vulnerabilities automatically. So Amazon Code Whisperer is AWS's foray into Gen AI for developers. It is your AI-powered productivity tool that essentially helps you code, right? And it, had to, it helps the developers kind of be more efficient. So you can do more faster. Now, some of the key features of the services that you can generate like code suggestions by writing simple commands and prompts in English. So that's really key. Secondly, it has a built-in scanning ability for how to find security vulnerabilities. For those who know, it uses code Guru as a security engine at the back end. And then lastly, this feature is one of our most differentiated features according to our partners and customers. The fact that it can automatically flag any resemblance to an open source data or a license. So we call it reference tracking, and Code Whisperer will automatically do it. Now you can turn it off if you don't want it, but when you're writing code and it resembles like something, it automatically flags that for you. So with that, we've done some good success with AI and you know in the coding space. And one of the best partner examples that we see is of that of Accenture. So Accenture was one of our early adopters of Code Whisperer, and they did a study where teams that did use Code Whisperer had faster release cycles and kind of like increased time to market. Um, AWS is aiming to make our developers 10x more productive. So what that does for our partners is it allows you to build applications faster, more securely, 
in less time so that you can have a reduced time for your customers. So one of the first examples was Accenture and we have more to come, but with that, now I hope you get a balance of the security side of things that AWS is taking care of, as well as some of the flavors of Gen AI. We do, we do have some exciting announcements, so I'm hoping you are going to be very keen to listen to the keynotes tomorrow and day after, but open for questions. That was a great presentation. Any questions? Thank you. No? Okay. Well, thank you, Duty. Thank you, Sh uh, Shreya. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, very much. Thank you for coming, everyone.